What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis and in this video I'll be reviewing the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid Mattress. Throughout the video I'm going to tell you what the mattress is made of, run some tests and give you my pros and cons, but to start I want to talk about what this bed feels like. I've been talking about the feel of the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid Mattress. I'm going to put it on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the firmest. I put it right in the medium range at a 6.5 out of 10. It's going to be a great support level for the combination sleepers out there. Uh, people who change from your back to your side, you need that nice even support and comfort in multiple sleeping positions. When I'm on my back, I do feel myself sink into the mattress a little bit. You can see that I am actually sinking into kind of this pillow top section of the mattress by just sitting here. There's softer foams on top. We'll take a closer look at the materials later on in the review, but uh, you will sleep, feel yourself kind of sink into the mattress a little bit. That's nice for pressure relief. I think back sleepers uh, that like a little bit of a softer feel are going to appreciate that. Uh, but when I'm rolling around changing positions, there's really good bounce mobility here uh, on the Alexander Signature Hybrid. So you're not to feel stuck in those layers uh, as you do sink in a little bit. Now rolling onto my side, side sleepers generally prefer a softer mattress. If you're a side sleeper that's on a mattress that's too firm, you can start to feel a little bit of jammed up feel. It joints like the shoulders, the hips, those are two prominent areas for a lot of side sleepers. Now the Ness Alexander Signature Hybrid isn't going to be like a super plush feel. You're not going to sink deep into the mattress. So if you're a strict side sleeper that wants to feel kind of enveloped by the mattress, that's not this kind of feel. But if you're a combo sleeper who goes from your back to your side throughout the night, I think this is going to be good for you. Uh, I did feel really comfortable while side sleeping here on the uh, Alexander Signature Hybrid. Now, rolling onto my stomach, what I'm looking for is what are my hips doing? If the mattress is too soft, stomach sleepers are gonna wake up with aches and pains in the lower back. I usually recommend that stomach sleepers go with a firmer supportive feel. I think if you're, again, a combination sleeper that spends I don't know, 10% of the night on your stomach, some small percentage, you're gonna be okay here. It's not gonna be the worst thing in the world, but if you are a really strict stomach sleeper that spends the entire night on your stomach, you're gonna want a firmer support than this. And instead of just taking my word on the feel of the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid, I like to run a few tests on all the mattresses that I review so you get a more objective look at what's going on. The first one up is a pressure map test, and I put a pressure map down on top of the mattress, lie down in a few positions, and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. On my back, weight's evenly distributed. You can see it's blue across the board. It's a good sign for the back sleepers out there. I do think that this mattress is a good choice for back sleepers in general, especially if you want a little bit of a feeling of uh, singing into bed. Now rolling onto my side, this is where this test is really important. Again, if you're on a mattress that's too firm for a side sleeper, you can start to feel pressure points forming in uh, joints and uh, problem areas like the shoulders, the hips. Uh, in general, I think that the ranges here we see on the pressure map test are acceptable uh, and, and pretty good overall for the Ness Alexander Signature Hybrid. So if you are someone who goes back to side sleeping throughout the night, I think this is a good choice. And finally, stomach sleepers out there, uh, you know, I don't think this test tells really the whole story because my weight is evenly distributed. I did feel my hips start to sink in just a little bit after a while. Again, if you do spend a little bit of your night on your stomach, you're probably gonna be okay on a medium firmness mattress such as this. Uh, but if you are a really strict stomach sleeper, someone who needs super firm support, you're not gonna get that here. Next test up is the bounce test, and this is a check to see how much mobility a mattress provides. Like I said before, you will sink into kind of the foam pillow top section of the Ness Alexander Signature Hybrid for a bit of pressure relief. But overall, I was pretty impressed with the mobility here on the mattress. Uh, I was able to change positions with really easily uh, without worrying about feeling stuck when I was adjusting my position throughout the night. Next up is the motion transfer test. And basically, if you share your bed with a restless sleeper, are you going to feel it on your side of the bed when they're getting into and out of bed throughout the night? Uh, now to test that, I drop a 10 pound seal ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches. And on your side of the mattress, I put a seismometer down to check to see how much disturbance is transferred with each of those drops. And I say, I was really impressed with the ability of the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid to isolate that motion transfer. I think the softer foams in the pillow top section of the mattress combined with the pocketed coil structure below uh, do a really good job of isolating that motion transfer so you don't feel it on your side of the bed when someone's getting into and out of bed on their side. And last but not least is the edge support portion of the review. Basically, are you going to be able to sleep all the way to the end of the bed without having to worry about collapsing it? Uh, I was actually pretty impressed with the edge support on the Ness Alexander Signature Hybrid. And combining that with the really impressive motion isolation here with this mattress makes me think that it's a really great choice for the couples out there. Now to give you a better idea of where the feel of the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid mattress comes from, I've cut open the back of it so you can see the materials used in the layers. Now first up, the cover is uh, a pretty soft, 
feel to it. Uh, it's pretty thin and it is quilted with a bit of foam. So you're gonna get a nice little uh, sinkage into that right off the bat. It's really soft. You can see, uh, see that there. Now underneath that, we have the comfort layer of the mattress. It's their uh, Titan Chill Endurance Foam. It's a kind of uh, Energex or polyurethane foam, I guess I should say. Uh, it's got this really quick response to pressure. Uh, you can see that there. You are gonna sink into it a bit. So that's gonna be really nice for pressure relief. That's where the kind of nice side sleeping pressure relief is coming from with this mattress but it does have that quick response. So again, you're not gonna feel stuck in the mattress. I think this pairs really nicely with the support layer beneath uh, the pocketed coil layer. You can see here, that's gonna give you good mobility. Uh, this is where all of the kind of support to keep your spine in good alignment is coming from. Uh, one thing that's really interesting that I do wanna point out is that uh, the pocketed coil system here actually has kind of special edge support coils, which is where some of the strong edge support on this mattress comes from. The Alexander Signature Hybrid is just one of a few mattress options in the Nest bedding line. I recently reviewed the Nest Hybrid Latex mattress and was pretty impressed with it, so I wanted to share a few notes to give you a better idea of some of your other Nest bedding mattress options. I found the Nest Hybrid Latex to have a nice medium firmness right in that six and a half out of 10 range I mentioned earlier. That support level, I think it's a nice choice for the backside combination sleepers out there. Beyond that, latex has a much different feel than traditional foams like polyfoam or memory foams, providing a bit more bounce thanks to a quicker response to pressure. And because of that, you'll feel more on top of the Nest Hybrid Latex where you might feel more sunken into the Alexander Signature I'm reviewing today. Along with that, latex also sleeps a bit cooler than memory foam and tends to be a bit more durable, so it'll last a bit longer. A few drawbacks with latex mattresses like the Nest Latex Hybrid are that they don't really pressure quite as well as memory foam, so those with joint pain will probably prefer the Alexander Signature. Also, it is a bit more expensive, so a little bit more of a luxury option. Again, that's just a little bit of information, so if you want the full review, you can watch the YouTube video, which I've linked to below, or Google Sleepopolis Nest Hybrid Latex Review for the full written version. And Nest is pretty popular and we get a lot of questions uh, here at Sleepopolis about their mattress line. So I wanna cover a few of the most frequently asked questions here that aren't covered by our normal review template. The first one up is where are Nest mattresses made? And they're actually made in their factory in Phoenix, Arizona. Next up is how long does a Nest mattress take to inflate or decompress? Uh, and in general, I recommend that you give a compressed mattress a few hours or overnight before you sleep on it to get the full support and feel of the mattress. But Nest actually says that it can take uh, 24 to 48 hours for a mattress to fully decompress. And last but not least, do Nest mattresses need box springs? And the answer is no. Uh, in general, the Nest mattresses are designed to work with uh, a slatted bed frame. Now, if you have a box spring that you really like, or you just feel more comfortable using a box spring, you can feel free to do so, but you do not need to. Now, before I end my Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid review, I do wanna give you my pros and cons for the mattress. First up, I would recommend it to you if you are a combination sleeper, specifically like a backside combination sleeper. I think that nice medium furnace is going to provide a good feel in multiple positions. It has good mobility so you can switch between those positions without feeling stuck in the mattress. And I would also recommend it for the couples out there. I think that medium firmness is a nice compromise if the uh, two people don't agree on what the firmness of a mattress should be. Also, I was impressed with the ability to isolate motion transfer and it's a really nice edge support. And finally, I think it's a good choice for the uh, hip pain sufferers out there. I think the foam kind of pillow top section of the mattress uh, does a really good job of letting you sink in uh, for some nice pressure relief, especially in joints like the shoulders, the hips. I don't think it's the perfect mattress. So some of my complaints with the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid are that it sleeps just a little bit hot. And also I don't think it's the best choice for the heavier folks out there who need a little bit of a firmer support uh, to kind of get the right spinal alignment. Now, if you are interested in purchasing the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid, I wanna give you a few of Nest company policies. First up, uh, all of their mattresses ship for free. This one will arrive compressed in a box. So you want, again, a few hours or even overnight before you sleep on it so you get the full support and feel of the mattress. Uh, and in terms of a trial period, Nest offers a 100 night trial period for this mattress. So you can have it in your home for just over three, not three months, depending whether you wanna keep it or send it back. Uh, and there is a lifetime warranty on this mattress. So that's it for my review of the Nest Alexander Signature Hybrid Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if you wanna check out the full review or see the Nest Hybrid Latex Review, you can just Google Sleepopolis and Nest Bedding Review. Those will pop right up to the top. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements. And head to Sleepopolis for all of your sleep needs.